You know, Oregon has long held a sterling reputation for high technology companies and workers. We're a big part of the Silicon Forest, after all. And while the big chip companies have been spending big to expand their businesses lately, now the feds and the state are pouring even bigger buckets of tax money to help as well. Today we saw a celebration of that money and what it will do for the state's future. And it's our big story tonight. In Gresham, there's a company you may not have heard much about, Microchip Technology. It's based in Arizona, is 35 years old, has global revenue of about $8 billion a year, and 22,000 employees around the world. Its chip-making factory in Gresham has been there for 20 years and grown from 60 workers to about 900 now, with another 300 to be added soon. And it just won a $72 million grant from the federal government, with another $11 million from the state of Oregon, all earmarked for growth. Ganesh Morthy is the company's president and CEO and was in Gresham today. And that expansion in Oregon will effectively triple the output for microchip uh, from this facility. And that happens over a number of years, but it brings overall production of semiconductors in the U.S. up significantly. The $72 million came from the Federal CHIPS Act, which is focused on bringing semiconductor manufacturing back to the U.S. Only 12 percent of the global supply is now made in America. Microchip has committed to spending $800 million to ramp up its operation in Gresham. After his formal remarks, the CEO said the people of Gresham will see many changes. So there'll be a number of things. Um, there will be a part of it, which is a facility that uh, expansion. Some of that work is underway already. Uh, there'll be new equipment uh, that'll come in. That will be part of how we grow the output from the facility. There'll be people that we hire. And then there'll be a spillover effect on all of the supply chain that is there to help us, whether that be direct for our manufacturing or indirect to help us with uh, growing the workforce, uh, child care, various other things that are going to be needed for our employees on this site. Microchip also announced a program with Rosemary Anderson High School to create a semiconductor training curriculum. Oregon State Representative Janelle Bynum, an engineer herself, said Microchip's expansion is the type of thing she was hoping for when she helped push Oregon lawmakers to support the semiconductor industry. I give Microchip the highest praise for their new partnership with Portland Opportunities Industrialization Center and Rosemary Anderson High School um, to develop a semiconductor career training program. One of the things I talked about in our meetings in the legislature was that we weren't going to just focus on large corporations. We were going to make sure that this made it down into our communities and that, again, that our kids had something to look forward to. Gresham Mayor Travis Stovall said microchips new and existing jobs will have lasting impact. The path from poverty to prosperity for folks many times is something that's interrupted by access to certain things access to education, access to training, all of those things. These types of investments open up jobs within our community where folks that live here can work here because that's, that's an impediment to being able to get family wage jobs if you've got to travel all the way across the region. So the expansion that you're seeing here at, at Microchip is going to be phenomenal for the folks that live here in Gresham and the surrounding cities. During the 2023 legislative session, Oregon lawmakers set aside $190 million for a grant and loan program focused on the semiconductor industry. The idea is to help them expand and attract even more federal money, which would allow them to expand even more. That's where the $11 million for microchip came from. And the state also awarded $115 million to Intel. It's the state's largest private employer with 22,000 workers. Intel's also the only leading-edge semiconductor manufacturer with its research and development and its technology development headquartered in the U.S. Oregon also awarded $9.5 million to HP, which has facilities in Benton County. And by the way, speaking of Intel, I'm working with them on a big story at their factory in Hillsboro. They're putting together a machine that they say is going to be the biggest and the best of its kind in commercial use anywhere in the world. It's a pretty big deal. And we'll be talking about what it means for the semiconductor world both here and abroad. That report's coming up next month. I'll be sure to let you know when it's getting close. So what do you think about the money pouring in for the semiconductor companies? You know the drill now. We want to hear from you. What do you think? Send your comments and your thoughts to our email address, thestory at kgw.com. Or if you prefer a phone call, give us a call. Leave a voicemail. The number is 503-226-5090.